Well, what this is, is a Colombian boa constrictor from Central and South America. She's an adult female, she's about eight feet long. We've named her Morgan, and she is our go-to snake here. She is big, and people, she's so docile that when we get people here that's a little uh, tentative about handling or touching snakes, we always get Morgan out because she is like a great ambassador to, for snakes. We are Serpentarium Magic. We are located in Mills River, North Carolina. We have over 160 displays, 220 some odd snakes, 90% of which are venomous. I just always loved snakes because they were the underdogs and people always wanted to hurt them or kill them and I always just found them so fascinating and so beautiful. I mean, look at this guy, he's just absolutely beautiful. He's an albino boa constrictor, just like Morgan that we just had out. So I started collecting and more or less uh, indigenous species because I didn't want people killing them. And then people would call me to get snakes out of their yards. I was talking to my wife and told her I'd love to do this for educational purposes uh, when I retired. And so she was pleasant enough to remind me I wasn't getting any younger. So in 2014, we re I retired and took some most of my 401k out to open this place up. It's very interactive. We have uh, snakes that we get out and let kids and adults alike hold and mess with that are very friendly and nice and uh, we do our best to educate everyone as much as we can on snakes and reptiles in general. People are just afraid of them because other people are afraid of them and you know my family was afraid of them for years and they told me to be afraid of them but I just found them so fascinating and beautiful that uh, I went against the grain. A young man came out one day and I asked him what his favorite snake was and he said the two-headed snake and I said well that's great why? And he held up, he was born with three fingers on one hand. And he said, because I'm different too. This is a two-headed corn snake. It was found in the wild in Florida. A friend of a friend of mine found it while he's sweeping leaves off his porch. He eats with both heads. Sometimes they'll form a Y like they're going in two different directions and they'll just shake or they'll cross their heads over. And it's kind of funny, but this guy is super docile. He's like any other corn snake. It seems like sometimes the, the right head is the one that eats first and the left head sometimes seems like it's the one dominating the crawling, but we, it's not happened enough where we can really prove it. And the odd thing about this guy is, when he sheds, because he's got two brains, he sheds and then about five days later he will shed again like both brains are wanting to, to, to molt the old skin. You'll see, you'll see things here that you'll never see anywhere else. It's a lot of fun. I, I like it a lot. I've always been interested in snakes. Um, since I was a little kid, I've, I've caught snakes outside. and it's, it's a dream come true for me to be here, to get to experience all this. This is the Mangshan Pit Viper. They're from China. They were only discovered like in the, uh, 2007. Of course, the Chinese people knew they were there, but the scientists hadn't discovered them and given them a name. The venom, uh, their venom is unknown. They haven't uh, had enough venom to extract and uh, do the breakdowns to know what kind of venom and what kind of antivenom they can use with these guys. Oh my gosh, it's, it's not work. It's a dream every day to come in and, and just realize that you've got this uh, dream that everybody gets to, you get to share it with everybody. Everybody comes in sharing my dream. We focus a lot to children because the children are the next generation that's gonna be taking care of these animals. When we're dead and gone, they need to get excited about the environment and understand that these aren't, these aren't the devil, they're not mean, they're not evil. They're part of the uh, ecosystem and they have a place here on earth. And when they get excited and realize they're not mean and evil and they're beautiful, then that next generation is gonna take care of these animals for the future generations. Serpentarium Magic is at 57 Hunters Ridge Road in Mills River, and they're open every day except Monday. For more information, give them a call at 828-776-4477 or check them out online at serpentariummagic.com.